Raw carnivore day of eating. Why carnivore? Nutrients, vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids. Animal foods contain all of the nutrients our bodies need in their most available forms. Why raw? Ease of digestion, no tired feeling after you eat. You know, sometimes when you eat a large amount of cooked meat, you get a little bit lethargic, feel like you need to take a nap. Some people do believe that nutrients are lost when you cook the food, but the most important thing is the initial quality of the food. Yes, you do lose a small percentage of B vitamins and some of the vitamin C, but that's not really a concern in the context of this diet. So what I'm going to show you guys today is what I've been doing uh, for the past, I would say about two weeks. And I've been starting the day with dairy. I have fixed my dairy intolerance to some knowledge. I'm still working out some kinks, uh, trying to figure out which types of dairy I can tolerate, what amounts, uh, as well as, you know, the different animals like cow, sheep versus goat. Uh, so I don't have a definitive answer on that for you guys yet. Uh, I'll come out with something uh, maybe a month or two from now, but I have been consuming dairy safely. I know it's been a big focus uh, of my channel that I can't really consume it. Now, uh, the meal that I've been starting my day with is consisting mostly of fermented dairy products. Uh, I have some raw sheep kefir. I have some raw sheep yogurt. And here I have a raw sheep cheese. Uh, I was breaking out with a little bit of acne uh, a couple of days ago uh, when I was consuming cow dairy. So I'm just trying to rule out, you know, if it's the sheep dairy, if it's the cow dairy. Uh, so I'm sticking just with the sheep dairy uh, for about a week or so. In comparison to cow or goat dairy, sheep has a much higher fat content and the particles are even smaller. Uh, they're a bit easier to digest in your stomach. Uh, so if you have leaky gut or any, you know, gut microbiome imbalances, uh, sheep milk is the least inflammatory that most people have access to. Usually I have, you know, two to three cups of the kefir. I'll have a cup or two of yogurt. And if I do have cheese, uh, cheese is something I've been doing uh, the past week or so. The first week I was only doing kefir and yogurt. I find that the cheese satiates my appetite uh, so much that I don't usually have as much yogurt. And the salt content of the cheese uh, is something that I kind of need, you know, when I'm not salting my food. I need to have a little bit of salt uh, to balance the sodium to potassium level. And I'm able to get that by just having uh, a nice quality cheese that has a little bit of salt in it. Some of you guys might have noticed that raw cow dairy, especially from grass-fed animals, tends to be yellow, beige, and some of you guys might have even seen orange butter and cheeses. That's because of the way cows store carotene in their bodies and transfer it through the milk. Sheep milk, goat milk, buffalo milk is always stark white because those animals store the nutrients differently, but it can be just as nutrient dense as cow's milk despite the lack of carotenoid pigmenting. If the dairy product is from a high quality pasture raised animal, that was on nutritious grasses, the product will have all of the vitamins, minerals, and elements your body needs, and it will have fatty acids in the plant preformed version. This is the big difference between a lot of these ruminant animals and humans. Human breast milk actually has DHA and EPA, whereas these dairy products have the plant forms that are not as conducive to brain growth. So keep in mind if you are consuming dairy products, it does help to get you know preformed EPA and DHA from other sources. That being said, you know the nutrition from dairy products seems to digest quicker uh, than meat and fish for many people. The nutrients are very easily accessible. I noticed that you know I get a lot more B vitamins, especially you know the change in how I feel, how my skin changes. The reason I'm consuming fermented foods in the morning is partially to build up my gut bacteria. It's also because fermenting a food increases the vitamin K2 content, which is very important in overall nutrient synergy. You know, when you're consuming large amounts of vitamin A from liver, you know, when you're going out in the sun and tanning and getting large amounts of vitamin D3, vitamin K2 is synergistic and these nutrients work together. These foods are also high in histamine. 
uh, which is a compound involved in immune response. I have an issue sleeping when I consume you know, these fermented and high histamine foods. So by consuming the high histamine foods early on in the day, I'm giving my body you know, 14, 16, 18 hours to clear out all of the histamines. You know, if I'm eating these foods at seven, eight or nine in the morning, you know, by the time I go to bed at 11 o'clock or midnight, I won't have an issue sleeping. But that's why you guys won't see me consume any more fermented foods the rest of the day. I usually try to keep the foods fresh. Uh, so I usually start with, you know, taking a sip of kefir. A uh, kefir is a, a fermented milk product that's made with a very specific strain of enzymes. Uh, mostly lactobacillus, I believe there's some bifidum in here and as well as some other strains. But you can't replicate this uh, naturally and no one's been able to replicate kefir grains. Uh, you, might, you guys might hear a little bit of like a pop like carbonated water when I open this. And I get some all over my arm. Uh, sometimes this gets really you know, volatile and active and it can kind of explode all over the place. So this bacterial culture consumes all the lactose. Uh, so if you can't tolerate dairy products, uh, there's a very good chance you can tolerate kefir as not only is the lactose absent, but the other bacterial strains and the probiotic bacteria allow you to tolerate, you know, casein and some things that people might have issues with. It has an alcohol percentage. So it also has a very high acetic acid content which is beneficial to the gut microbiome. So there really isn't a food that would be, you know, better from a probiotic standpoint than kefir. It has a very high beneficial probiotic content. It has a small acetic acid percentage and you, you can't really beat it. It is very strong though. So I had a couple sips of kefir. Uh, the fat content of this is so high, of the sheet milk, it's ridiculous. This is almost like yogurt, it's, it's so thick. So if you guys get like cow kefir, that's probably not gonna be as thick as this. So I'll have a little bit of that and then I'll move on to eating the cheese. And uh, this is a cheese that I've actually just tried recently. It's a raw sheet milk cheese from Portugal. It's like a party cheese. You're supposed to let this sit at room temperature for a couple hours. And then it gets like really soft and gooey and you dip whatever you're eating in it. Uh, but me being the carnivore animal that I am, I just eat the cheese like this. Uh, before this, I was just going to Whole Foods as well as local cheese shops and seeing what raw sheep cheeses that they had. Uh, I think I was getting some raw goat cheeses as well. Uh, but Whole Foods at the moment was carrying uh, this raw sheep milk Roquefort. Uh, that was made from very high quality milk and I don't really like Roquefort uh, but they also had another uh, raw sheep cheese from Spain so even in like a Whole Foods or possibly local supermarket you can find raw sheep milk, raw goat milk cheeses uh, especially raw cow's milk cheeses uh, but I had some of this yesterday and this is funky as hell uh, right now it's kind of soft but it's, it's a bit cold because it was in the fridge when this gets to room temperature, it's like goop. This is like funky, rotten, like barnyard cheese. Definitely I have to like the funky stuff if you're gonna eat this. So cheese has a bit of a higher protein content. The lactose is mostly digested. And the K2 content is incredibly high. Usually I'm eating a hard cheese, so I'll get thirsty and I'll drink the kefir throughout. But this is a little softer and it's not drying out my mouth as much. But this fills you up really quick, especially compared to like milk or cream or, or yogurt. When, when you're eating a raw high quality cheese, you can't eat that much of it. All right, I ate quite a bit of the cheese. I think I'll save the rest for tomorrow.
the fat content of this stuff is so high, I would estimate that just in, you know, that cheese and this keeper, I'm probably already at like 1500 calories. And what I'll do now is I'll finish up the kefir and then I like to sit down and have yogurt sometimes. I'm not actually hungry anymore, uh, but Frankie being the chubby little Italian boy that he is, likes to enjoy himself a little bit. Oh yeah, no, I'm really full. Maybe I'll have a couple bites of yogurt, but I'm good. I don't think I'm getting like that chubby, but you know, definitely a little more, a little more than I'm used to carrying around, but it's okay because I'm still chiseled out of marble. So being on a raw diet, uh, one thing that a lot of people miss is letting the food get to room temperature. It, it's much more enjoyable, you know, when eating, you know, room temperature kefir, uh, room temperature cheese. Uh, the yogurt, I actually prefer when it's cold, so I do keep that in the fridge. Uh, but the majority of the foods I eat, I do take out. I let them sit at room temperature for a couple hours uh, just so, you know, when I go to eat them, they're not cold. Uh, so we're going to take out uh, the foods for my next meal. And I'll also show you guys what's in my fridge. Now, this is my parents' fridge, and I don't usually keep my food in here. But I do have some uh, salmon that I tossed in here the other day. Uh, so we'll take some of this out. Now, this is where all my stuff is. Uh, so here I have actually some buffalo milk that I was just messing around with. Uh, most of this is sheep dairy right now. Uh, this is all sheep milk. Uh, there's some sheep milk here as well. Uh, I have some sheep kefir. Uh, this is some goat kefir uh, that I have to go through. Uh, a little bit more sheep yogurt. Up here is an organ meat grind. Uh, we actually have this on Frankie's free range meat now, so definitely check that out. Uh, this is 80-20 organ meat grind with 10% uh, of it being organs, and most of it is liver. Uh, we also have a uh, regular 70-30 ground beef, uh, so we're gonna have some of this. I have some eggs up here, but that's for my family. Uh, don't eat the eggs. Uh, down here I have some beef fat that's fermenting. And let's take out uh, some of the sheep milk for later. So the ground beef, I'm just gonna let it sit at room temperature. And the salmon, I'm just gonna cut a portion for later. All right, so I'll just cover this so no bugs get on it. I'm gonna try to keep the, the plastic from touching the salmon. And I have a little bit of milk left over from the other day. So I'm actually gonna pour some of this milk into this one and just let it sit at room temperature. Normally I'll put the milk in some cups and then I'll cover the cups with plastic wrap. Uh, but since I had the extra container today, this is what I'm doing. So we're gonna leave this and I will be back when I feel like eating. It's about 11.15 at night. Normally I don't eat this late. Usually I'll eat around six, seven or eight o'clock, but I had a couple of things come up and I don't actually wanna eat. Usually if I'm so busy that I don't have time to eat, I will just skip the meal. But since I'm doing this day of eating, uh, I decided to have this meal with you guys to show you how I complete my nutrition. You know, you can't thrive only off of dairy products, unfortunately. Uh, you do need certain fatty acids and you do need certain minerals and elements that aren't as high in dairy that are present in meat and fish. Uh, this is a piece of coho salmon, uh, much better than sockeye and both of them are pretty, you know, cheap fish from you know, a fishing standpoint, but they usually overcharge for it in supermarkets. I don't actually feel like having this salmon today, uh, so I'm, I'm not gonna actually have it. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys because it's important to balance your omega-3 ratios if you're consuming eggs especially. And I ate maybe two or three dozen eggs last week that was causing me to break out because my omega fatty acid ratios went out of balance. You need to eat about half of a pound of wild caught fatty fish per one dozen eggs to balance your fatty acid ratio. So keep in mind, eating eggs have some fatty fish in pretty substantial amounts. You know, so if you're one of those people that is you know, sucking down 10 or 12 egg yolks a day, you're gonna need to be eating quite a bit of fatty fish every day uh, to make sure your omega fatty acid is in balance. 
Uh, here we have uh, the organ meat grind. Uh, this is from a local farm and all of the ground meat that we sell on Frankie's free range meat is uh, very fresh from a local farm. So I am okay with consuming this raw as, you know, I don't usually recommend consuming any ground meat raw, uh, but if it was to be, uh, this would be it. And here we have the, the sheet milk that I'm gonna have with this. No salt, no anything. Uh, on the fish, I actually do prefer to salt it like an hour or two ahead of time. It firms up the fish, gives it a bit more flavor. But most of the time with the raw meats and stuff, I don't like adding salt to them. Uh, before we eat though, I do want to show you guys, uh, one of my viewers was so kind, uh, he actually made a knife for me. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful knife, the nicest knife I have now. Uh, and you know, I always heard about people making knives and, and I was thinking about getting a new chef knife and his name is Eric Alborn. Uh, you know, him going keto improved his health a lot and he discovered my channel and, you know, he, he wanted to thank me by sending me this knife because his health improved even further when he w went carnivore. And, you know, he didn't want me to do this, but, you know, I figured it was such a nice gesture and uh, it's actually one of the, the first gifts I have ever received from any of my viewers. And it's a beautiful knife and I know how much work goes into making these. So, if you guys want to check out Al Born Knives on Instagram, I really admire stuff like this because you're able to take a raw material and create it into something amazing and useful and it's, you know, a skill I've never had. Uh, you know, Eric is a carpenter and uh, he does this knife stuff in his spare time. So, uh, Eric, thank you so much for uh, sending me this. Uh, looking forward to using this, although it's so nice, uh, I kind of don't want to. Again, this was 90% ground beef. 10% organs, mostly liver, uh, some heart and some kidney, and the fat ratio is 80-20. Now we actually requested that they grind this a little coarser because it gives it more of a texture. And it's not like, it's not like pasty or like, you know, like glue sometimes when they over grind the meat. You know, regardless of how much dairy I eat, even when I start eating something like unseasoned raw meat, my body naturally craves it. You know, even when I think I'm not hungry, there's definitely some you know, some nutrient aspect that we're missing in our diets if, you know, if we don't consume meat, if we don't consume fish. Uh, definitely something to be aware of for vegetarians or people that are consuming a lot of eggs and dairy. As much as I like ice cream, milk is delicious. You know, you don't have to make it into ice cream, you don't have to jazz it up, add sweetness, add flavorings to it. Milk, to me, is probably my favorite natural animal food. It's so tasty, it's so palatable, it's so nutritious, and it's very hydrating. I find that if I don't eat the salted cheese in the morning that I can go the whole day and only have like one or two cups of milk for hydration. Sometimes not though, so you know, sometimes I still need to, to drink a bit of water even when I remove salt. One thing I love so much about this diet is the food volume. I didn't eat more than a pound and a half of food today. I'm incredibly satisfied, uh, stuff like a piggy, and I consumed well over 3,000 calories, yet the actual amount of food you know, from a volume perspective and stress on my digestive system is very low. You know, nutritionally complete diet, uh, the dairy very high in fat soluble vitamins overall, you know, the meat giving us, you know, some iron, some minerals and elements that weren't as high in the dairy products. And if we were to eat the fish, we would have gotten plenty of omega-3 fatty acids. You know, since there is some liver in this organ grind, we got plenty of vitamin A. There are no other nutrients we need for today. You know, this is one of the, 
you know, the few days of eating where I've achieved every single thing, including liver. Usually I exclude liver. Uh, you know, I only have it once or twice a week. Usually uh, I don't have an omega-3 fatty acid source that is preformed. Uh, so today is definitely a good indicator of, you know, foods that are fairly approachable. You know, dairy is very approachable. You can make steak tartare. Uh, you could have sashimi. Every food that we've consumed today for the most part is something that people would eat in a normal day-to-day -day life. It's just in a raw, higher quality form. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meat. You know, we have the organ grind, 80-20. We have 70-30 ground beef available now. We will have Wagyu beef as well by the time this video comes up. Can't thank you guys enough for supporting Frankie's Free Range Meat. Really looking forward to the future. You know, trying to bring you guys things like raw milk as well as, you know, corn-free and soy-free eggs. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Frankie'sNaturals.com, Frankie'sFreeRangeMeat.com. Check them both out, guys. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your day.